And joining us now to talk about Congressman Mike Johnson's historic win and what it could mean for our area is Louisiana State Senator elect for District 31, Alan Seaball. Thank you so much for joining us again. We are so happy to have you here with us. Now, this is exciting for us here in Northwest Louisiana because Mike Johnson is homegrown. You know, he's a Captain Shreve alumnus, lives in Bossier Parish with his family and He's a local guy and you've spent many a year working with him and many a year as friends. I have. Mike's one of my closest friends. My wife and I also both went to Captain Shreve. So as a Gator, I'm, I'm extra proud today. But this is a great day for the country. It's a great day for Shreveport. It's a great day for all of Northwest Louisiana. When, when you have a homegrown guy who literally you know, grew up here, went to, went to Caddo Middle Magnet, went to Captain Shreve, class president, went to LSU, homegrown through and through, and one of the most genuinely nice people you're ever going to meet in your life. Uh, hard worker, nose to the grindstone, one of the smartest people I've ever known. Um, it's not uncommon for him to text me at 2, 3 in, in the morning because he stays up all night working. He's just one of those guys that is, is always at it. He's always been committed. And uh, I, I, I could not be happier uh, to see somebody like Mike and where he is in Washington. We have problems in Washington. I mean, it, the House of Representatives has been a mess for a while and, and all of Washington has been a mess. Mike is the kind of guy that can bring them all together. He's a uniter, he's the kind of guy that even if you disagree with him politically, you can find common ground and not disagree personally, which is rare these days. Um, it's, it's difficult. We actually do a fairly good job of that in the Louisiana legislature, not letting it be personal, um, but he does it in Washington and it's very rare in Washington. One of the things that my wife pointed out when we were watching his speech today was how many Democrats were standing up and clapping during his speech. We haven't seen that in a while. And Mike is the kind of guy that, that reaches across the aisle and you may, he may not agree with you politically. You may vote against your bill, but it's not going to be personal and maybe you can find common ground later. And that's rare these days. It is very rare these days. And you mentioned uh, he's very likable, very respectable is what you said. Everybody seems to enjoy him and enjoy being around him. And with him being a Louisiana guy moving up to an even bigger stage, an even bigger platform, do you think he's going to spend so much time focusing on the national problems that he forgets about us here at home? Oh, I don't think there's any chance he's going to forget about Northwest Louisiana. I mean, this is his home. It's where his family lives. Um, he, he's, he, he's in a perfect spot to help take care of us. And, you know, he's, he's never going to forget about the area. There's some issues nationally that aren't specific to Northwest Louisiana. We have appropriations bills that have to pass. We got to get DC working again, and that's going to benefit the whole country. It's, it's going to benefit us because we're part of the country. But, but there are some things that aren't specifically related to us that are going to be a focus. But I don't think Mike's ever going to lose, lose sight of Barksdale and Fort Polk and the Red River. Um, I, don't, I don't think there's any chance of that at all. One thing I was going to say, we've seen a lot of congratulations messages um, rolling in from different working industries. Do you think that Mike is the voice for the working industry in our state? Well, he, he, you go all the way back to his dad as a firefighter and the way he grew up. M Mike has worked hard his whole life. Um, and he's, you know, I, he, he is one of those guys that really can relate to anybody and everybody, regardless of your job. He goes out of his way to talk to people. He's not I've never seen him brush past anybody when he's walking into an event. He'll stop and talk to everybody. He's just, and he's not putting on a show. He's just a genuinely good guy. He's also one of the funniest people that I know. He does impress, he does Trump better than Trump does. Oh no. He, he does impressions. He will crack up a room. And so he, he's, he's just one of those guys that's on multiple levels that, that you can, you know, you, you get to know and you're around him. And when he came to Baton Rouge after he left the legislature, he came down as a congressman and visited and a bunch of us went to dinner and several guys that had not served with him, they were new to the legislature when they were leaving, like I had no idea he was that funny, that he's just got that winning personality, make, puts everybody at ease. I think he's gonna be great in Washington, he's gonna be great for the country and great for us. Well, talking about his experience and the connections that he has, you know, he's coming into this on a relatively shorter amount of time versus previous speakers. Do you think that'll yeah. work to his advantage? I'm not, I haven't confirmed this. Somebody today told me he was the youngest speaker ever. Uh, I know he's the only one ever from Louisiana, um, but his work experience, you got to keep in mind too, that what he did prior to running for the state legislature um, was he practiced law all over the country. He traveled the, the country defending uh, religious liberties, defending people's First Amendment rights. He was a constitutional lawyer practicing on a national scale and a national level. So a lot of the issues they're dealing with in Washington on a regular basis, he's actually been litigating, both not just in Louisiana, but in Kentucky and Boston and California for years. So he's kind of always been a little bit bigger 
um, on the national scale. Uh, it, it's not surprising to me at all that he's having the success that he's having because he's always been been a na more of a national guy. I'm more of a Baton Rouge guy. He's always been more of a Washington, a, a national guy. Well, Alan, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your time with us and sharing your thoughts. Again, we will be continuing our coverage of Mike Johnson's historic win as House Speaker. And don't forget that our very own Dominique Ben will also be in D.C. for the next few days, continuing to bring us future coverage.